Hey guys, enough said. Meet the Simmons back with another video. Today we got a video from Dear Dot Fathers. Um, they are, it looks like they're going over an interview with Grant Hill and Tamia, and they're talking about how father set the example for the love of his daughters. We thought it was really good, so let's jump right into it. And that, you know, my daughters will fall in love with. And also the standard, like, you know, they're gonna see how I treat their mother. And so, not that we don't argue, not that, but you try to sort of, if we need to have a discussion, try to do that away from them. Maybe bite. We try, we try. We try. And sometimes, look, I mean, just come, you know, you know, um, but you have two impressionable young girls who are gonna absorb and take in and we're going to sort of be an example for them and an expectation for them in, ter in terms of what a relationship should look like. So that is a heavy responsibility. You don't get it right all the time. You're not perfect. You Sometimes you'll say things, you're like, oh, man, did I just say that? You, you, you are conscious of the fact that, that that is a huge responsibility. I thought that was really good. What do you think? Yeah, it was really sweet. And um, he's right. Yeah. It, it made me kind of reflect on my own life when you have a good father in your life you have a template as to which you look mm -hmm. for in your future mate spouse what have you e relationship even dating but when you don't have that template mm. you're lost because you're trying to fill that void of dad not being there and you end up trying out so many different types of guys and having different types of relationships before you figure out which one is actually best for you. So yeah. it's so impactful to have the father in the home because again, you have that template, you know you know what you're looking for. Yeah, I think they've been married for like 24, 25 years. Yeah, they've married That's a great. In that, in that industry as an NBA player and her as an entertainer, Phenomenal. in her own right, yeah. uh, both of them are successful in their own right. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of ego. Yeah. That's a lot of ego in one house. And for them to be able to do that and raise two beautiful daughters, uh, yeah. it says a lot, you know, and it's, it's, it's extremely difficult for a young lady who doesn't have that example to go out and then seek that out or find mm -hmm. it. And typically you're gonna look in the wrong place. That's where a lot of young ladies are right now. Yeah. And nobody really likes to talk about that part of it. You know, out of one side of our mouths, we say we need good, strong fathers. The other side of the mouth, we don't really need them. Man, yeah. we don't need men around. You can do it on your own. No, you really can't. I mean, you, you, well, you can, but you're trying to build the, the Pyramid of Giza with, <laughs> with no blueprint. Yeah. You know, you're trying to do all these 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 things and you really don't have a blueprint to what to look for. Yeah. If you don't have that, you're gonna be you're gonna be left to your emotions and we all know emotions can be deceitful. Absolutely. And then you because emotions are attached to lust and other things mm -hmm. and, and they're very, very um subject to be subjective. Yeah. You know, so oh he looks good, his teeth can talk, I like the way he smells and all this other stuff that really is a factor a to a job, good man. Whatever. Yeah, none of that factors it to a good man. He makes a lot of money. What does that mean? Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. That, that means nothing. And see, those factors are what we put so much weight on. Yeah. How much a man will, how much a man makes, how, how, what he looks like, what his sex is like. Those things don't really factor into what a good man is. It doesn't. Yeah. What's his character like? You know, does he have integrity? Does honor, does the word honor mean anything to him? Yeah. Does, do, how does he respect the people around him? Does he make the people around him better? Those are the things that factor into what a good man is. But what we want to try mm -hmm. to do is we want to cobble all these things together into one person. Yeah. And what you end up doing is you end up getting a monster. Yeah. You're a Frankenstein because you try to take a little bit from this, take a little bit from there, and mm -hmm. then you try to you end up getting with this monster. So, um, I think men like myself who have daughters and who has a daughter, mm -hmm. and men like Grant Hill who have daughters, we like one of the father's biggest fear is a daughter being mistreated yeah. or being mishandled. Yeah. You know, so I want my daughter to leave this house mm -hmm. knowing who she is Absolutely. and knowing her worth and all the things that come along with it, but also understanding that she's going to have to learn to work with the man. Yeah. And she's not some princess on some little pedestal somewhere. Yeah. No, sweetheart, you got to learn how to work with the man. And I hope and I pray that her mother and I have given her that blueprint yeah. so she can see what it's like to work with a, a man, a, a, a real man, a masculine man that's in his masculine, not just some guy that just pays the bills who's a wimp, but actually see her mother and I yeah. work through conflicts, Absolutely. actually see her mother, you know, show the feminine side of this thing and then me show the masculine, how those two things work together, how yeah. it's a beautiful dance, you know? Two thought processes, I was thinking, we're Gen X, so we grew up in the era where you saw like the shows or the movies that, you know, if the daughter was dating, the daughter would bring the boyfriend to the house mm -hmm. and then the father would kind of, you know, vet this guy to see, are you mm -hmm. quality? 
for my daughter? Are you, you know, what are your intentions with her? And <laughs> I know there would be people that are like, oh, that's so old fashioned or that's so archaic. No, no, no. That that's what we need. You need yeah. a man that can vet another man and be like, mm-hmm. I was once a young man too. I had raging hormones. I know what all that's like. But what are you offering my daughter? And yes. if you're pot- potentially talking about a relationship, whether you're dating, and especially if y'all have mentioned the M word, marriage. Mm-hmm. You want to have your father, your brothers, your uncles, grandpa. You want to have those men vet this young man to see if this is someone that can lead you in the future. So that that's something mm-hmm. that you want. And I know, like you said, with our daughter, that is the prayer that when she leaves, she has the blueprint that we've been displaying before yep. her. Because I know what it was like when I joined the military. My, I'm, I'm the product of a divorced, uh, divorced parents. I didn't have that blueprint and I was lost and I was confused and I didn't quite know what I was looking for. And with the, when the young man come to the house, it's not just about, you know, the father just sitting there and what are you doing? My, <laughs> it's really about the father being in his right place. Yeah. It's really about the father being in the right mindset. And, mm-hmm. and, and it's not that your daughter is some sweet little princess that's never going to make a mistake. Oh, right. It's about finding out if this man can, is, is, is on the path to becoming the man that you you that you need him to be for your daughter. Because if you're not that, then you can't require mm-hmm. him. That's where a lot of men make mistakes. You can't be sitting in the house with a with a with a wife beat on, smoking weed, and telling this young man not to mistreat your daughter. You can't be have right. just fresh off of just beating her mom or disrespecting mm-hmm. her mom and then telling there this young go. man. That's not the way it works, guys. It isn't. And so a lot of guys get real self righteous when it comes to their daughter, but they never hold themselves to that standard mm. when it comes to their daughter's mothers or the women around them. Speak and well, so sir. if you're going to hold that young man accountable, hold yourself accountable that's and the men around the, around you first. That's the way that works. Yeah. And a lot of you guys are not gonna like that, but that's what it is. Because if you understand the truth of what what really is really going on in the world right now, you're gonna need a strong father. And mm-hmm. if you're not that guy, go get some help, go find a mentor, be that man. And if you're not a father yet, don't be one until you become, or you're on your way to becoming that man. Because a man has to become, he evolves over time. But you can't be out here, need to be a Nino Brown, and then expect to raise his daughter that's going to marry Carlton Banks from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Like, that's not the way that works. She's going to end you. She's going to go find yeah. someone sim- more similar to you than she is Will Carlton Banks. But I thought this was a great video. I, I loved I loved Tamia as, uh, as a as a as a singer. I always loved watching Grant Hill play. Mm-hmm. He played with such class, and uh, I really his career really got shortcut because of injuries. But he was a great player. But I'm glad to see that they're still together after all these years in that industry. Mm-hmm. That says something. It's more about what you do than what you say. Yeah. And with that, that's, that's enough said. It.